hard for me to think of two people that are more compatible than Katie and Chad. Look up, look up, look up, the stars are shining so close that we could touch a world apart. It's Chad is a very careful and responsible driver. While riding in a car while Katie is driving is simply Chad is uh, an indoor person. Air conditioning is a must. Katie prefers to hike Patagonia, which they did together a few months ago. And while I think it's true that opposites attract, uh, you two have so much in common to share. Your adventurous spirits and your desire to experience life to its fullest. As many of you may know, and you can probably tell from today's events, uh, Kate and I live like, like it's an adventure. And we're incredibly blessed to be surrounded by such incredible friends and family that have continued to love and support us through our relationship. I want to thank all of you for making the journey out here. We, we know it's you know, somewhat difficult to get here. Special shout out to the people staying at the Quality Inn. That's true love right there. We, we appreciate you. I wouldn't say there. <laughs> I actually hadn't met Chad when Kate and I were in Iceland three or four years ago. And the first time that I actually heard his voice was through a note that he had written to Kate and hidden in her backpack. Honestly, it was the cutest thing ever. I was like, I don't know who this is, but I hope that you marry him. But it was something along the lines of, Kate, I hope you have an amazing time with your girlfriends. Like, see all the lambs and hike all the things and eat all the food. And also, please don't die because I really want to marry you someday. From the beginning, I knew that there was just something different about Evil's relationship. Chad, you're just so kind and gracious and loving. Katie, you've just always like been unforgivably you. You two are awesome individuals, like incredibly like powerful, like successful, incredible human beings as individuals, and it's really cool to see that you found each other. I love you, I love you. You all are amazing people. You're gonna have a phenomenal life together. You're gonna raise amazing children. And uh, I'm happy that I'm gonna be able to be a part of it. couple on the earth. I love you guys. Hey, you have made your mother and I's life so much more fun. So much more exciting. So much more meaningful. And just giving us so much joy than we could have ever imagined. Are very very proud of you and so blessed to have you as a daughter and now Chad we feel 
equally blessed to have you as a son. The most influential people in Chad and Kate's lives are their parents. Glenn, Kathy, Lloyd, and Kathy. They each wish to express a heartfelt and loving thank you for modeling how a Christian marriage should be, for all that you've done for them, and for all that you'll continue to do in their behalf. I want to particularly thank my mom and dad. I think one of the, the greatest gifts that you can bestow upon someone is kindness. And whenever Kate's asked, you know, one, the, the quality that she admires and meets in the most, she never fails to mention kindness. So I want to thank you guys for raising me to have such a kind heart. I've been a daddy's girl since the day I was born. And I've been so lucky to have an incredible example of what a husband and father should be. <laughs> he got me a portable kayak. <laughs> oh my God. I got him a bike. So. That's very nice. Oh. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I guess oh she get you a bike? bike? Yeah, because I always steal her bike. <laughs> <laughs> He's the reason I'm standing next to Chad tonight. He set the bar very high, and I always tell Chad that he's just the black younger Glenn. <laughs> I would first want to recognize and thank my beautiful wife, Kathy. Everything Katie said about Kathy last night is true and then some. I always tell Chad if I'm half the woman she is one day, he's making the best decision of his life right now. <laughs> Uh, I have known Kathy for 41 years, and we have been married for 34 years, and she is simply the best person that I know. If you have a breakup, if you're moving, if you just are going through something in life, if you're sick, my mom is the person everyone calls. And I've said this before, but my brothers and I are just lucky to be first in that line. Eddie and Glenn, our children have brought our families together. A good marriage is born out of mutual respect. It's giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. And it's not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. We're gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. Most gracious and heavenly Father, thank you for this happy celebration of your amazing gift, the gift of love. You two are just inextricably linked in my mind. When I picture you, I picture Chad now.
by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chad, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Life's an adventure, live it up.